Welcome back guys, Baldur's Gate 3 has just received a major update in the form of patch 7. Size of the patch is around 11 GB. In this video, I'll be testing the game's third act on my Steam Deck running on SteamOS and ROG Ally running on Windows 11. Third act is known for its performance issues, very demanding on the CPU. This patch does improve the game's performance, especially in crowded areas. Highlights of the patch, a new evil ending has been added to the game. This is just amazing. Game was released in 2023 and in 2024 we are getting a new ending for the game. Hats off to the developers. A mod manager has been added to the game. Makes it easier for us to browse, install and use mods created by the community. We can access the mods from the in-game settings. We can create mods for this game using a separate toolkit. You can download it from Steam. Revamp split screen gameplay. When playing on split screen, the two halves of the screen will now dynamically merge together when player characters come close to each other in game and dynamically split back up when the characters move apart. This patch includes tons of fixes. Performance improvements continue to make performance and stability optimizations across the game and implemented many under the hood code fixes. Optimized performance. This will have a more noticeable impact in areas with large number of NPCs like the lower city and will reduce peak memory usage when loading levels for the first time. It will also be noticeable when managing lots of loot, example when transferring everything from a camp chest to a character's inventory. I'll kick things off with my Steam Deck. It's running on SteamOS beta version 3.6.12, connect with my Cosmic Bytes Stellaris Gamepad to deck via Bluetooth mode. Using G-Proton version 9-13 as the compatibility layer, play. I own the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Performance tab, OLA level set to 2, frame limit set to 60, that's it. Yeah, there's the mod manager setting. From here, you can download the community based mods directly to your device. Video settings 800p resolution, VSync disabled, FSR 2.2 upscaler enabled using its performance preset. The third act is very demanding on both CPU and GPU. Everything set to low, effects disabled, and that's it. There's my character Carlyle, other members. Okay, so here FPS is within a range of 30 to 40, almost hitting the GPU bottleneck. Look at the highest CPU usage, 80 to 85 percent. Steam Deck has a quad core processor, and it's being pushed to its limits. In the third act, it's recommended to cap the FPS at 24 for a more stable experience. See, 27 to 30 FPS. Blushing Mermaid Tavern. Lot of non playable characters around me. APU power draw around 24 watts. In the older versions of this game, game used to run within an FPS range of 15 to 20. Twenty-four FPS should be doable now with the latest version. Some fancy effects can still tank the FPS in the third act. Just demonstrate this. I'll trigger an explosion. By going to that house, keep an eye on the FPS counter. 24 FPS. Yeah. 16 FPS. FPS increased to around 24. It's on the lower side. Magic effect tanking the FPS. Fire is also nearby. Very demanding on the processor certain effects I'll show you some combat and go this way just cap the FPS at 24 in the third act it's a bit difficult for Steam Deck to maintain 30 FPS in with the latest version of the game
let's check out the performance GPU load close to 90% see the big crowd in the background magical effect yeah these people are casting some spells I'll attack this guy <laughs> combat started so many non playable characters around us 20 to 24 fps so pretty average performance on steam deck in the third act in the first two acts should be getting a stable 30 fps Reckless attack. Now I'll be testing the game on my raw galaxy. On Ally, I'll be running the game using AMD's driver level implementation of frame generation that is AFMF2. In order to get AFMF2 working on your Ally, you just need to install AMD's technical preview GPU driver. This one. This driver received a new update on 6 September. Update log for the latest AMD Technical Preview GPU driver includes optimizations and general stability fixes, including several crash issues reported by the community. Also includes optimizations and improvement for Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2. You can download the driver from this link. I have already shown the installation process for AMD GPU driver on ROG Ally. We'll drop the video link in the description. Show you the adrenaline settings for the game. Adrenaline software version. 24.20.11.01 Game setter and setting I have enabled FreeSync VSync disable anti lag setting enable as the game space FPS won't exceed 60 on Ally AFMF2 setting it's disabled for the time being when I enable it I'll just set the search mode to high this will help in preventing frame generation from getting disabled during fast visual motion performance mode quality disable the setting for Baldur's Gate 3, I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 3.3.9. Command center settings. Using a 25 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 25 watts. 720p resolution. Need some GPU headroom for AFMF2 to work properly. If you don't plan on using AFMF2, you can run the game at 900p resolution. Connected my Gullicate KK3 Max gamepad to ally via Bluetooth mode. DirectX 11 version AFMF2 status Disable I enable AMD's performance overlay Control plus shift plus O keys You can see the performance metrics here 720p resolution VSync disable FSR 2.2 upscale enable using its quality preset Model and shader quality Beg your point. Shadow quality Set to medium Texture quality also set to medium, rest of the settings are set to low. These effects are disabled. There's Kalak, I load the same sequence. Here GPU load is close to 90%, 80 to 90. VRAM message is around 4.4 GB, it depends on the area. Base FPS is close to 40. Input response. Haven't enabled AFMF2 yet. All frame generation techniques come with a slight increase in latency. That's why it's recommended to use any of these frame generation techniques with a minimum base FPS of 60. You can still use them at FPS values lower than 60. And just make sure FPS doesn't drop below 40. Good performance here. Leave the place. Thirty five FPS. Explosion incoming. Yeah. Twenty seven FPS. Six. 
not bad at all guys very impressed by LS performance 26 to 30 FPS in such an intense scenario game did not freeze I'll go to that crowded area now let's enable AFMF2 open internal software enable AFMF2 check its status it should be active search mode high frame gen beg your pardon performance mode quality back to the game you can see FPS increased to around 90 oh my god real world input delay nothing extreme frame generation lag value 18 milliseconds anything under 20 milliseconds is good Baldur's Gate 3 is not a first person shooter slight increase in latency should not impact your gameplay in a negative way same area yeah here FPS is close to 65 without AFMF2 we were getting around 32 FPS here AFMF2 tries to double the FPS I can observe the added amount of smoothness I'll be very honest it's not as good as the real 60 65 FPS still better than the real 30 FPS I was observing some sluggishness here when I hadn't enabled AFMF2 that sluggishness is gone now VRAM usage is around 4.5 GB GP load is close to 80% again it depends on the area yeah, it's increasing see sixty FPS this area is very demanding guys. And yeah, these people are casting some spells. Again these spells are very demanding on the processor. Yeah VRAM usage increase 4.7 GB. Start a fight. On raw Gala, if you experience any audio crackling, just disable Dolby Atmos setting. Combat started. I was just checking out some special moves. Use the reckless attack. Increase the volume. No audio crackling issue. And turn. Use sacred flame. It did not slow down the game. So it's highly recommended to use AFMF2 on Rock Ally in Baldur's Gate 3. You'll be getting good performance. But in order to use AFMF2 right now, you need to use AMD's technical preview GPU driver. Oh no, it was a critical hit. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.